Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 200 plus interview question and answer series. We bring you frequently asked interview questions on Angular along with full tutorial and live examples. I can guarantee you that if you go through these questions, you will be able to crack any Angular interview. This will give you confidence because of the theoretical explanation as well as the hands on code experience. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. I will be happy to provide you free help and advice. So, this part before we get started, I want to assure you that I am here to see you succeed in your interview. So, if you have any questions or queries at any point of about any topic, feel free to add them in the comments and I will provide you with free technical advice and help. I have collected over 150 question angular interview question and answers with practical live hands on experience. You will we will do code walkthrough. We will do complete explanation of the logic. Why, what, where, everything. The concepts range from beginner to advanced concepts. This as the notes has been compiled with more than 80 technical interviews that has been conducted at leading IT companies. This is a multi part series, which means you if you want to follow this entire series, please subscribe to my channel to get the latest tutorials on this series. Let's get started. So the interview question and answers are divided into different aspects of Angular. First, we will start with generic questions part one and part two. This is more about understanding the theoretical knowledge and the concepts. After that, we move on to important building blocks like components, modules, decorators, templates, data minding directives, and much, much more. Stay tuned, follow all the tutorial series so you can practice well. And I'm sure that if you do all of this correct, you will be able to easily crack your Angular interview. Let's get started with generic questions part one. Okay, so, so the first question that comes to any interview is what is Angular? Angular is a TypeScript based open source web application framework developed and maintained primarily by Google. It offers an easy and powerful way of building front end web applications. Angular integrates a range of features like declarative templates, dependency injection, end to end tooling, and that facilitates web application development. What is the current version of Angular? This is another question that is frequently asked to check whether the candidate is up to date or not. So the answer is as of 2019, the Angular version is eight. And in 2020, Angular nine is going to get released somewhere around April and March, April timeline. Every minor release is done in every three months and a major release is done in every six months. This is yet another important question. What are the features of Angular? Or this can also be asked as what are the building blocks of Angular? So Angular building blocks are components, modules, directive, templates, services, routing, metadata, testing. All of these are the striking important features of Angular, which makes it so powerful to build cross-functional applications on mobile as well as on desktop. What is the difference between Angular and Angular JS? So we will dig into the detail, but this is a pure theoretical explanation in detail for you. I want you to go through it. I will not read line by line, but I will highlight some of the important things. But for you, stay on this page. Please do read entire thing. These are some of the striking differences between Angular and Angular JS. This is one of those questions which will be asked to you to check if you have the real foundation and understanding of angular i will talk about some of the important things which is what is the difference between angular and angular js angular js is based on mvc architecture which is model view and controller whereas angular is based on components service and module based angular js is written and is uses javascript to build the application Whereas Angular uses TypeScript. Angular JS is controller concept, whereas Angular itself is by nature component based UI approach. 
Angular JS is not mobile friendly framework, whereas Angular is written primarily considering mobile platform. Angular JS it's difficult to configure SEO friendly pages, whereas in Angular you can easily create SEO friendly pages. This is yet another question which is asked to see your understanding on Angular. What are the advantages of Angular? The ability to add a custom directive, exceptional community support, facilitates client server communication, features strong features such as animation, event handlers, templating, follows MVC pattern architecture, supports data binding, one way, two way data binding, supports dependency injection, RESTful services, and validations. There are a lot of other advantages like forms, routing, testing. So these are all you can call it out as advantages of Angular. What are the disadvantages of Angular? Sometimes building complex single page applications can be really inconvenient because of the pure nature of the size of the application. Over a period of time, when the size increases, the complexity of services, component based structure can be a little tricky. Dynamic applications do not perform really well in using app. Angular. Learning Angular requires a decent amount of time and effort. So you can call these as the disadvantages of Angular. What is Angular Material? Now, Angular Material is a set of UI component library. It provides all the components that are required to build any modern UI framework. Angular Material helps in creating attractive, consistent, and fully functional web pages as well as web applications. It does so while following modern web design principles, including browser portability and graceful degradation. To learn more about it, you can go to material.angular.io. Yet another important question that you should be prepared is, what is Angular CLI? Angular CLI is a command line interface to scaffold and build Angular apps using Node.js style modules. Below are some of the few commands that are very, very handy and are most commonly used. So the question comes around, how do you create a new project? We'll use ng-new. And before we go further, friends, uh, don't worry. All of this we'll be doing hands-on in our coming sections. This is to just get you started with theoretical and foundational concepts. So how do you create a new project? We will use ng new command. ng generate class, ng generate component, ng generate directive, ng generate enum, ng generate module, ng generate pipe, ng generate service, and finally running a, the command is ng serve using Angular CLI. What is TypeScript? So they would also want to know what is the difference between JavaScript, TypeScript, so be prepared with that. TypeScript is a typed superset of JavaScript, which is created by Microsoft, that adds optional types, classes, async, wait, many, many other features, which later compiles down to JavaScript. Angular is completely built on TypeScript, and TypeScript is the primary language you write to create Angular applications. We can define custom data types and make it strictly type language. The current version of TypeScript is version 3.7. Now, the import nowadays it's getting frequent to get asked questions upon Angular Universal. The question comes as what is your understanding about Angular Universal? Angular Universal is a server side rendering module for Angular applications in various scenarios. This is a community driven project and available under Angular Platform Server Package. Recently, Angular Universal is integrated with Angular CLI as well. We will learn more about this. We'll do some hands on in coming sections. Just stay with me on this. What is Angular IV? Angular IV is a new rendering engine for Angular. You can choose to opt in to a preview version of IV from Angular version 8 onwards. In coming versions of Angular, we expect Angular IV to be the default templating and rendering engine. All right, friends, so that brings us to generic questions part two. 
so far i'm confident that you're following me it's helpful to you if you have any questions any queries please drop in into the comment section please do not forget to subscribe like my video so that i can bring you more such tutorials it will keep me encouraged and give me support to continue with more let's start with generic questions part 2 but that is on the other side of the tutorial don't forget to check out part 2 of angular interview questions thank you